Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Channel, August 17. He indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. 1 Peter 1.20 by rebellion and apostasy, humanity forfeited the favor of God, not his rights, for he could have no value except as it was invested in God's dear Son. This point must be understood. He forfeited those privileges which God in his mercy presented him as a free gift, a treasure in trust to be used to advance his cause and his glory to benefit the beings he had made. The moment the workmanship of God refused obedience to the laws of God's kingdom, that moment he became disloyal to the government of God and he made himself entirely unworthy of all the blessings wherewith God had favoured him. This was the position of the human race after they divorced themselves from God by transgression. And the reason why humanity was not annihilated was because God so loved him that he made the gift of his dear son that he should suffer the penalty of his transgression. Christ proposed to become humanity's surety and substitute, that they, through matchless grace, should have another trial, a second probation, having the experience of Adam and Eve as a warning not to transgress God's law as they did. And inasmuch as men and women enjoy the blessings of God in the gift of the sunshine and the gift of flood, there must be on the part of men and women a bowing before God in thankful acknowledgement that all things come of God. Humans broke God's law, and through the Redeemer, new and fresh promises were made on a different basis. All blessings must come through a mediator. Now every member of the human family is given wholly into the hands of Christ. And whatever we possess, whether it is the gift of money, of houses, of lands, of reasoning powers, of physical strength, of intellectual talents in this present life, and the blessing of the future life are placed in our possession as God's treasure to be faithfully expanded for the benefit of humanity. Every gift is stamped with a cross and bears the image of the subscription of Jesus Christ. All things come of God. From the smallest benefits up to the largest blessing, all flow through one channel. A superhuman mediation sprinkled with the blood that is of value beyond estimate because it was the life of God in his Son. Further reflection. What do I need God to send through the channel for me today.